how y'all are having a blessed morning. I already kind of got myself together. I made my bed, I read my Bible, I did my hair as you see, and I didn't do it in a braid today, so I did it in a bun. So I kind of switched it up a bit, and I hope it looks okay, because I actually have not even looked at it. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. But anyways, y'all, yesterday's video, I stayed up to like past midnight editing that one and uploading it. And so I slept in a little bit more today, but you know, it's okay. I still have to put away some laundry. I have to go milk the cow and then I have to sew today. I have to, have to. So Lord willing, I'll bring y'all along for that today. And yeah, so let's get out of my room. Let's go start my day. I'm down here about to milk Daisy, as you hear. And a, t a little trick, you'll have a dairy cow. If you have a dairy cow and when you like milk them and they, do they like knock out their grain like when they eat it? Cause I know Daisy's a pig and she'll eat it and she'll like knock out half of her grain. So what I started doing is making it super soupy by putting lots of water in it. And that way she can't like knock out her grain. So that's what I've been doing and, and she's still, eats it like a pig, but she doesn't spill it. So that's what I've been doing. So I just got a, a bucket full of grain and a bucket full of water. Then I let her in. So it's kind of hard to do with one hand. You see, and now that it's soupy, she won't knock it out as much. All right, Daisy, come on, girl. I know, you've been waiting for this moment all night. Alrighty, there you go. It's a good stuff. Yes, it's so good, isn't it? And she, yeah, she probably still spills a little bit, but not as much. <laughs> Here he's slurping. Bucky's so cute. He's right across from the cows and he was just watching me and I had to come in and say hi to him. Aw, you good boy. Yes, hi buddy. I love you so much. Yes, I do. You're so good. Yes. That feels so good. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Oh, yes. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hi, buddy. I think we got about a gallon and a half of milk from Daisy, so that is super, super awesome. Just got to take that up to the house. I'm going to vacuum up my room here really quick. And then after this, I'm going to go see Durango and then go for a little jog. But I'll catch y'all later once I start sewing. So, yeah, I'll see y'all here soon. Okay, 
Okay, I am back. I came back from being outside and it was really nice to get outside. But y'all, all of what's in this bag is everything that I need to sew. I'm obviously not going to get to all of it today because like I said yesterday, I have like six skirts, about three aprons, and all that. <laughs> so I'll probably get to like one thing today. And I also have these jeans here. And then this fringe, I think that's what it's called. They want this sewn on the side of the jeans, like cowboy jeans. So I'm going to do that too. I think I'm just going to do that first. I have two pairs of jeans to do that too. I hope my machine needle is strong enough to get through this jean. I know I've sewn jean before and my needle broke. I do have extra needles, but I just don't want to break any more. But yeah, and I got, there's a lot of cute fabric in here. This has become a little girl skirt. So a lot of this is going to be super cute and I'm super excited to make all this stuff. This is going to take a lot of time. I am actually going to pull up a couple videos on how other people sew this fringe on the jeans. Because, I don't know here. Because I don't like, I'm, that's why I'm going to look it up. But my idea was just to sew it at the tip. Not the tip at the way edge of the jean like that but then it does close it off a little bit but I think that's like the only way to do it but that's why I got my computer and I'm gonna look up how to do it so let's do that let's see you know it's funny I'll have a password on my computer but like most of all of our friends and then my whole family knows it so it's just like <laughs> Oh my soul. Alright, so what was I doing? Oh yes. Sewing fringe on jeans. There we go. Let's see here. Please be something. Okay, good. Okay. I think I might have something here. We'll see how they did it. Four minutes long. So I pulled up a video and what they did is that they did not just sew it along the edge. They like put it there and they like, you can't sew it together. So you have to go like at the way edge and then you have to pull it apart like this and then sew it as far as you can sew it. And then you use like fabric glue or something. Well, I don't have fabric glue. So I think what I am going to do is just can sew it. <laughs> I was really hoping to use my machine, but it doesn't look like I can use it. Maybe just for a little bit, but then it's just like, it would just be like, seriously, just a few inches, and then I'd have to hand sew it anyway, because I don't have fabric glue. So, sorry machine, but I'm not using you right now, or today. So, yeah, I'm just going to have to hand sew this. It's going to take a while, but Hopefully I can just get maybe one pair of jeans done. I actually don't know if there's enough fringe for both jeans. So I might just work out in the long run of just using, of just doing one pair of jeans. So, yep, I am going to have to hand sew this. First step is to line it all up and cut it the length that I want it, which is below the pocket all the way down to the bottom of the pant leg. So I got that right there. And as I said, I got to hand sew this. So I got my needles here. I love this thing because you got to choose the size of the needle you want. It's so cool. Let's see. Look. I like the needle where it has a big opening where you thread it. <laughs> I'm going to choose that one. Got my brown thread to match the brown fringe here. So I'm just going to thread this baby up and cut it. See how nice this needle is? Do you all see that needle? Look at that big old opening. That's so nice. <laughs> it's so nice. Whew! Is that long enough? <laughs> Alright, I think that's like... Oh, it's a good length. That's long. I don't want to do it too long because I don't want to be sewing and going like up like this and then going back down. So I think I'm just going to do that it's good right now. And I know it's gross, but you got to lick your fingers. I washed my hands, don't worry. Got to knot it at the end. Chubby, what are you doing? He's trying to catch all the bugs. Gross. Chubs, don't eat bugs. Don't eat bugs. 
Chubbs likes to be gross sometimes. I don't know why he likes to be gross. Chubbs, why are you gross? Don't be gross. Thank you. Don't be gross. All right, let's get sewing. Let's see here. I'm going to start from the bottom. In my brain, that just seems like it would work easier. I actually have not hand sewn something in like a very long time. I've been using the machine a lot lately, which has been wonderful. This is going to take, I think, a little longer than I thought. <laughs> Oh, it's going to take a while. All right, y'all. I got done the one side. I finished. I did it. It wasn't that hard. I mean, it wasn't the easiest thing, but it wasn't also the hardest thing. But So I got it done. Now I just have to go ahead and just do the other side. And if I just finish that for today, I'll be happy. Just at least I did something, right? Just a little bit each day. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. It turned out really good. I just have to do the other side. Alrighty. I finished. I'm all done. I did the one pair of jeans. They turned out pretty cute. So yeah, I'm glad I got that done. I still have one more pair to go and it looks like I will have enough fringe for the next pair of jeans. So that is awesome. And yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll finish that. Maybe I'll do that later. We'll see. But I'm glad I got this pair done. I just realized how I did not show y'all what I ate for breakfast or for lunch. I'm sorry about that. I kind of just forgot. Well, for breakfast, I had shake <laughs> like I always do. And then for lunch, I had a bowl of granola with honey and almond milk. And that's always so good. And then for dinner, we have leftover soup from Sunday. It's like a tortilla soup. There's like chicken, beans, corns, uh, corns, <laughs> corn, <laughs> tomatoes all in it. And we put like tortilla chips on top. It's so good. So I think I'm going to have that for dinner. We also have leftover risotto and all that. So yeah, that's what I ate today. I'm going to fold all the laundry. <laughs> I did all this laundry yesterday and I didn't get to putting it away. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I have some of Mark's clothes in here. Mark, Mark doesn't have a tote or a hamper. Well, I shouldn't say that. He does have a tote to put all of his dirty clothes in, but he just chooses to throw it into the washing machine because whoever's doing their clothes that day, all of his will get washed too. And then I get to fold them and stuff. And then I hand it to him. So, yeah, that's what he likes to do, which isn't a bad idea, but I'm not going to do that. Who else thinks I should throw this hanger away? <laughs> I have these hangers, and then, um, yeah, the top broke off, and I just kept them in my hamper, just thinking if I hang up a shirt and then hang it over something else, but why? You know what I mean? So I'm just going to put these in the trash. It seems like they'd still be good because most of it is still here, but it's not. It's trash. So these two hangers are trash. Okay. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord. Oh, the earth, sing unto the Lord. Bless his name, show forth his salvation day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all God. I'm going to end today's vlog right here. I'm still kind of tired from yesterday's vlog of staying up editing it like past midnight last night. I want to get an earlier night tonight so that I can film more for y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Alright y'all, love y'all. Good night. Bye.